<laughs> yeah, because you said, what's fermenting? It's like a fine wine. <laughs> it is fine. <laughs> Yeasty. Wedding Rock and Roll is basically a, a 9 to 5 kind of against the grind type song. Yeah, this was an interesting one. This, I like that a Blaze writes all our music together, um, but I also like that we write it in a whole bunch of different ways. Sometimes we write songs from a riff, sometimes we write songs from a chorus, sometimes we write songs from a title. We decided we were going to write a song with Rock and Roll in the title, and that's how this song kind of, kind of started. The genesis of that started running in the writing trips in um, down in Pi. It was later one evening, I think we had some silly movie on TV that we were paying attention to, having a few drinks. I was in this hammock that was hanging up in the lounge room and I just started getting some ideas and I, and I think I typed out what was basically the first verse. And I had this kind of idea of that comparison, the first verse of, you know, I don't want to be in that 9 to 5 job anymore, I don't want to be going and working for someone else and putting my, you know, renting my life out 8 hours a day, 5 days a week. This is kind of uh, about not wanting to be stuck with this 9 to 5, you know, daily grind job. Being, you know, uh, musicians and, and, and the whole rock and roll thing is, is that, well, we don't want to conform to society's norms, we don't want to, um, be like me. We don't basically want to get ourselves into a job where we're just going to die still being in, you know, it's, it's going to grind us down. And then that second verse of being ready to get on stage and, um, you know, get ready to lose your fucking minds. Like that, I'm, I've broken away from it coming through. You want to do what you are passionate about, and then for us in this case, it was, uh, it was we want to play rock and roll. You know, what, what excites people, what makes people people want to play rock music. It speaks that straight through all the lyrics throughout this song. It's just about not wanting to be chained to a desk and all these other aspects. And we want to just live our lives the way we want to without having to sit there and, and just deal with the monotony of, of, of that kind of approach to life. Don't let life get in the way of living. This is basically the, you know, the, the theme there. It's actually not the first time we've done that. We had a song a very, very long time ago. Um, way back 2011, 2012, the first time we had a song uh, back then that followed a very similar kind of comparison. I wanted to kind of modify that and bring that forward where it was, we weren't going to redo the song because it's just, it's in the past and it's not really indicative of what we do now, but the idea of it, I thought was still really cool. And Dan had a riff he'd been sitting on uh, for a while and played it to us and I'm like, oh, that's cool, that's cool. It was originally a very straight song and I was, I was kind of playing some, you know, I was trying to come up with guitarists, so I was very straight. And then oh, I want to say that a week later, he's like, no, I don't like it anymore, so I swung it and played it to us again. I'm like, it's better. And then everybody else started throwing ideas in and it became what it did. It's got this really cool bluesy kind of feel to it. It's probably the most swung song on the album. It's got a really nice kind of laid back groove to it. Um, it's not a particularly quick song, but you kind of just sit there and you can it hit Bob and tap your foot along too. It's got a lot of good feel and good emotion to come through on it. It just sounded really huge, like the vocals just sounded great. It was a nice, like, sleepy, sort of chill rock, sort of, um, you know, groove to it. Those big harmonies in the chorus were always going to be a real feature of the song. And then we wanted that a nice moving chord progression under the solo to give Ben the chance to go batshit crazy over it, do whatever he wants. And then, we had those little key changes at the end, where it comes up and comes back, which I love. The way that we worked the song um, and used the key changes towards the end, I think we managed to make it feel like we were still building a lot throughout the song. And it really does climax right towards the end when we go through those extra few key changes after the solo and, um, and add in some extra harmonies and, 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 uh, and other little kind of lead guitar parts. And, and everything just kind of builds that, that final, uh, final set of choruses. I love doing the harmonies over that as it's bloody high. <laughs> it, was a, it was an effort to get up there. But um, yeah, a bit of movement, just something different, something we haven't done. It really has a place on the album that really kind of you know, shows what we're capable of. You know, slower tempos and you know, bigger sounds and stuff like that. 
And one of my favorite things about a blazer, we can try new stuff, we can try new styles and new ideas, and it will always sound like a blaze. We, we can always pull it off in a way that sounds like, it's a, we're, not, we're not trying to be something else, it's a blaze trying something new. And we hadn't done that yet, and I think it, I think it came out pretty well. Every one of us would love to quit our day job and just go and, you know, live the life. Um, this is the goal at the end of the day, and you can help us achieve this by buying an album. Every album that gets bought, I'm a speed up hungry musician. Oh.